Hello guys, good morning. Welcome back to Ram's Tutorial. So today's video, we're going to discuss our tackles about different equations or problems involving mathematics. Remember, my dear students, when we see at mathematics, that involves sequence of numbers, sequence of problems that involves many solutions. Regarding through counting process, it helps us a lot on how to solve different problems. Through applying different skills, listening, motivating ourselves, and love of it. Hello everyone, welcome back to Ram's Tutorial. So today's video, we're going to discuss about our talk called using and interpreting graph. Using an interpreting graph class, remember, there are different types of graph. The graph shows here about the number of people who volunteered to watch the polls during the local elections. So many questions can be answered by this graph. Again, bar graph used to represent a collection of data. We have here number of number of people from 0, 10 until 100. These are the number of people. Next, the below area we have name of barangays. We have McKinley, Forbes, St. Mary, Marigold, Clifford Barangay, and Monte Vista Barangays. Here are the names or list of barangays under the volunteer poll watchers. Number one, let's have phrase and exercises about this graph. For our first questions, we have how many barangays have volunteer poll watchers? We are going to count how many barangays are there. Let's answer it first. Let us count. McKinley Barangays, Forbes Barangays, St. Mary Barangay, Marigold, Clifford and Montevesta Barangay. So total 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we're going to write here 6 barangays. So we're going to write 6 barangays. Okay. There are six barangays, volunteer, poll watcher during election. Number two, what barangay has the most number of volunteers? You know, my dear students, when you said most number, that means to say the highest number of volunteers during election. Let us see it first. Using our bar graph, have you seen first to graph here? It shows about the number of volunteer poll watchers. McKinley has 45, or I think 48. Forbes, over 70, that's 70 plus. St. Mary has 80 plus, Marigold 90 plus, Clifford 60 plus, Monte Vista has 50 plus. So the question is what barangay has the most number of volunteers? We have Mary Gold number 92. Volunteer poll watchers, barangay Mary Gold. So we're going to write. Barangay Marigold Barangay Marigold That's the most number of volunteers in that particular barangays Number three or the third question Which one has the least number of volunteers when you see at least number that means to say the lowest number among the number of 
people who volunteer poll watchers. Here we go. Let us check for the bar graph. Okay, have you have seen the bar graph, guys? So, we have the lowest number of volunteers. Which one? None other than, as you have seen, using our bar graph, Makin Lee. The number of people who volunteer is 48 on Mackinley, Barangay. So we're going to write Mackinley for number three. Okay. Okay. Mackinley is the last number of volunteers. Four. How many volunteers are there in Barangay Marigold? Okay, well, let us count the number of people or the number of volunteers in Barangay Marigold. So we have first here, Marigold, my dear students, please follow first our graph. It shows 92, or it's 91 or 92, it's a, because in 92, number of people who volunteer during election okay we're going to write 92 volunteers ninety two volunteers in barangay marigold Five. How many barangays have more than 50 volunteers? Let us consider the questions. How many barangays have more than 50 volunteers? More than 50. We have our choices, McKinley and Monte Vista. 50, more than 50. We have Monte Vista, more than 50 volunteers all watchers so we are going to write 50 plus so how many barangays have more than 50 so we have monte vesta then monte vista clayford it's monte vesta and clayford because forbes are 70 plus 80 plus saint mary and most numbers marigold mckinley is not considered it's 40 plus so the question how many barangays have more than 50 volunteers so i think we considered here you know clifford is not it's 60 how many barangays so i think it's monte vista it's only monte vista 50 plus having what you call 50 plus or 55 something volunteer poll watchers so i disagree with this so monte vista it's only one so mon te vista barangay okay it's only monte vista barangay having what we called uh 50 volunteer okay so by this class with using what we called an interpreting graph we can answer it immediately through following first or checking the number of people the number of our guys of course we check the number of our guys and how many volunteer poll watchers are there in all in each varang guys okay so again mckinley has 45 48 I think 48 Forbes is 73 St. Mary is 81 Mary Gold is the highest or the most number of volunteer 92 Clifford is 64 Monte Vista is 53 or something 54 okay that's how bar graph use us 
or represent a collecting of data referring to the number of people who volunteer as a poll watchers during election time. Remember, these volunteers plays an important role during election time because the, their work is to collect or gather some facts of data according to what you call the numbers of people who voted to their respective choices of what we call uh, choices of elections rather choices of okay the right person okay to become what we call the good roller in our what you call society or place where you live in okay again the questions we're going to read the questions each first how many barangays are volunteer poll watchers we have six barangays volunteer poll watcher two what barangay has the most number of volunteers barangay marigold okay that's according to our what we call uh, interpreting graph or bar graph remember bar graph is used to represent a collection of data represented the volunteer poll watchers so next is that which one has the least number of volunteers marking the least number of volunteers how many volunteers are there in barangay marigold we have 92 volunteers in barangay marigold how many barangays have more than 50 volunteers we have monte vista barangay having 50 volunteer poll watchers hope my dear students you learn a lot for our discussion today using an interpreting graph which is represented by the bar graph again this graph shows the number of people who volunteered to watch the poll during the local elections so some of these questions are answered by this graph so it's in short that means to say with using this particular bar graph we can easily answer the following questions or the several questions to be tackled off so that's why not only bar graph okay we have circle graph or pie graph or whatsoever picture graph it's really big help for us not only for you students as teachers also we can easily discuss or show to you may their viewers or students in order to easily catch up or inculcate to your mind about what topic being discussed how this particular graphs being interpreted and how is it use it or how being done or being applied okay once again my dear students don't forget to hit the notification bell icon so that you are updated to our latest tutorial don't forget to subscribe it to ram's educational channel once again so long class and see you on my next videos bye bye get blessed and mabuhay